Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to talk to Selmy and do the uh, expert challenge on the slopes. Just did the uh, beginner's challenge. Uh, want me to watch you again and give you a few? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's do the expert course. Yes. Expert course. Huh, you seem like you're ready. This is as good a chance as any to get a good look at how your form's coming along. Just a good look. Just a look. <laughs> 20 rupees for instruction. I know you saved my life and all, but everyone's got to make a living somehow. You understand. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's hurry up and get surfing then. Don't psych yourself out just because it's the expert course, okay? If you can go the distance, I'll give you a commemorative shield based on your time, so don't hold back. Alright. So I'm just going to do this. I, I don't know. It's just a little mini game that I thought sounded kind of fun. And then I think we'll continue on with the adventure. <laughs> The expert course is a lot longer than the beginner course. Be sure you know your way to the goal. How am I supposed to know? First, do you remember the big bridge that served as the beginner course goal? I sure do, yes. Surf underneath it and continue straight ahead. Okay. <laughs> After a while, the path will come to an end. That's when you've got to smoothly transition down the curve to the left. Okay. Once that's taken care of, it's back to going straight ahead. My two students are standing along the course to mark the way. Use them as markers and you shouldn't get lost. Still, it's a long course. I say take whatever route you want as long as you reach the goal. The rules are loose enough so you can get some air or surf on something besides a shield. Your time's what really matters. Okay. That said, while I know I didn't really have a leg to stand on after getting stuck in a cave while surfing, don't get yourself in trouble pushing too hard looking for a new route. That's my number one rule. Time to get started. On your mark. All right. All right. Here we go. Got a long way to go. And who knows where I'm going. I sure don't. I'm just going to ride the slopes. Yeah, this way. Hurry. I'm not going to fly or anything. Or maybe I will here. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go through this. I don't even know if that's faster. I don't have Tulin, so I know it's not faster. <laughs> Alright. What time am I trying to beat? They didn't even give me a time. I'm just going. I think I'm going faster than last time, though. Uh, keep going right, I think. Watch out for that guy with the arrows. <laughs> don't want to get shot. Okay. This feels right. Feels like I'm catching some good, good speed here. And then I take a sharp left, I think is what she said. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Right through this hole. That seems right, okay. Cool, what am I doing? Cool, <laughs> seems good. I think I'm just going through all these little, all these little arcs. my guess at least oh rocks that's not good oh those goals those goals right there that was a long way down am I just trying to beat two minutes I think I can do that maybe 150 yeah 150 I beat 150 hopefully that's it and stop that's it I'll come get you just sit tight I've been to this area before, so that's interesting. I just saw a bloopy. Maybe it runs into a cave. Wait, 149.86? I don't believe it. Did you just beat my record? I can't believe you beat Coach's record. No, really, my whole world view is shaken. What a mind-blowing time. I've got to respect the hustle that went into a run like that. Let's see, what other advice can I give you? You know where Rust stands during a run? That spot a little ways down the slope from here? If you hang a left there and go a ways off course and then down into the ravine, you'll come to the cave where I ran into trouble. <laughs> All my instincts as a veteran shield surfer tell me that if you could somehow pass through the cave, then surely... Actually, no. Forget I said that. A good teacher wouldn't lead her devoted students anywhere near anywhere that she herself ended up stuck. Ah. That aside, I have a commemorative shield for you. Use this to protect the normal way. No risk. No risky cave shortcuts. <laughs> oh, I just got a knight shield? So what do you say? I wouldn't mind watching you surf again. I'm good. Ah. Then let's call it there for today. Alright. 
Everyone back to the cabin before we all free solid. Okay, so I guess I beat her target time. Um, I don't know if you get anything after this. Oh. Huh, there's no need to rush. Your journey on the slopes is just getting started. Keep working at it and you'll get there. Next time we do this, I'll be wanting to see how you've improved. Uh, so can I do anything else? Oh. Nope, I'm good. Oh. Alright. Well, you're the boss. If you ever feel like the time is right for a lesson, I'm always here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to continue this adventure. And since I've been through everything that I can reasonably do here, I think, I'm going to grab a horse. Yeah, and then we're... Well, maybe I should grab a horse from this stable and then go up this way. Yeah, I'll grab a horse. I'm going to go up this path, actually, right here. Go up through Hyrule Forest Park, get up into this region that looks like there's a tower that I could get to. So let's go to Lookout Landing. Haven't been there in a while. Definitely going to change my clothes because the cold clothes are too overdressed. Those are my, those are my nice going out clothes. <laughs> cool. Fast traveling. Let's see where we can... Uh... I'm going to go to the shop actually, see if there's anything new. Or see if Hestu is around. I could probably get more. Well, what are you doing, Carson? <laughs> Link, hello there. So, what do you think of the old handy dandy Skyview Tower, huh? Skyview Tower is a result of sweat and toil from those of us at Hudson Construction. Pura charted out the design work naturally, but the project was huge in scale and sent us all over the world. Tell me about Hudson. Yep, originally it was just a humble town in a small village called Terrytown in Akala to the northeast. Humble shop, sorry. Uh, but the boss Hudson is just brilliant when it comes to constructing things. Princess Zelda caught wind of his brilliance, and before you knew it, he was entrusted with restoring all of Hyrule. I heard that lately he's been making dream homes for folks, though I couldn't tell you much more about it. If you're curious, the next time you're out in Akala, I recommend dropping by Terrytown. I sure will. I'm kind of making my way that way. Ish. Did I get rid of Tulin? No. Just not. Just not hanging out in town here. Hey, Hestu. Talk to me. Do I hear something? Not really. Um, but I am going to... Get... I'm just kind of checking. Oh, I wanted to change my clothes. Okay. There's a... I'm a knight again. And then I have a fair amount of bows. Good amount of shields. Could, maybe I just get more weapons. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I hear a voice coming from that well over there. Maybe just my imagination. <laughs> Shakala, I have 34, nice. If you give me core XP, I'll expand. Yeah, let's let's do this. Um, how much for a weapon? 17, okay, so I can get a weapon. 12. 10. 17, 12, 10. It doesn't give me enough, so I'll just... I'll do a weapon. Never skipping this. How often do you get to see broccoli dance? Not much. Okay. I do like having more weapons. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Let's... How many more for another... <laughs> 25? My gosh. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. I have some pretty big, uh... Stashes now. Uh, I can't. Let me go to this well really quick. I know I've been here, but it seems like Heshtu is saying there's something else going on here. Pharaoh? Wait, I've talked to you, right? Ah. Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule, but new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. Huh? Oh, have you come to tell me about the location of more wells you found? Yeah, I've got more. Oh, thanks. So three of them this time. 
I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 30 rupees total. All yours. Oh, sweet. Excited to visit all these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? There's still a total of 45 to find. It can be hard to find old hidden wells. If only there was some sort of tool for searching for things. Let's chat again if you find any more well locations. There is a tool for searching things. I have the Hyrule... Wait. I have the Hyrule Compendium. But I don't think I can set these as targets. Yeah, I need the... I need some type of target, uh, some type of thing that'll let me set targets, and I do not have that. How do I get that? That's kind of interesting, actually. I figured I would collect these while I'm here. Um, let me, let me go get my horse. I'm gonna grab a horse. Okay. What's going on, Hestu? Interesting being back here. Pretty sure I have these. Yeah, I have one, have one, have one. And I have one. I could wear my Hylian clothes, actually. I kind of want to wear the Hylian clothes, just for fun. I know they provide less armor, but sometimes it's fun to wear different clothes in this game. You have so many, and so many become useless. But style, style becomes important. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, yep, can't read it. My first job with the Zonai survey team is checking out this invaluable stone tablet. Feeling pretty lucky. Uh, Wordsworth went back to Kakarika Village, but I think I may be able to teach me... Might be able to get him to teach me ancient Hyrulean if I make an amazing discovery here. So I have to be really thorough with this. Yeah, Kakarika... Uh, uh, Sheikah Village, a people... Ring-shaped Zonai ruins, yep. That's where they everybody's went. Yep, okay. Is there a good discovery around here that you're looking for? I didn't see it. Is it at the top? Because <laughs> that would be kind of funny. No. There's nothing here. Alright. I think I'm going to grab a horse and keep going. I got plenty to see. Take a torch. Lester, how you doing? Uh, I would like to take a horse. I would like white socks. No idea where white socks is at this point, but let's uh, have you corral them for me and we'll get going. Thank you for waiting, this little one. Sure looks happy to go for a ride with you. I should about wrap things up. Please take care and have a safe trip. Have you been to Woodland Stable? I hear there's a great fairy fountain nearby. If you leave out of Lookout Landing's east gate, you'll find it on the way to Eldon. That, my guy, is exactly where I'm going. What a great suggestion. East gate. Yeah. I could go this way, but I'm going up. So, sort of going that way. Because I... Breath of the Wild, there was a... Uh, interesting. Um, there was a... Cool spot that had... What am I even talking about? I got sidetracked. There, <laughs> the guy made me look up, and then I was like, what is happening? Um, there was a spot with a stable out there. So I'm gonna head to that. I'm also gonna destroy this choo-choo really quick. My horse just kicked me. <laughs> it happens. Oh! Look at this guy. Alright, how about we don't do that? Let's not mess with this guy, please. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah. 
That thing grabbed onto my saddle. Yeah, all right. Not so, not so big now, are you? There we go. All right, let's go talk to that guy now. You're safe. Let's go. Let's go greet him. See if he even acknowledges that I helped him out. He may not, because that was kind of... far away from where I actually helped him. There we go. Those are the items I was looking for. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. Hi. Hey, don't it feel like it's been one weird thing after another since the upheaval? The other day, my precious hammer that I've loved and cared for since, well, since forever, just up and rotted. It was beyond fixing, so I slapped a rock onto a wooden stick and I had me a new hammer. Hmm. Might not be pretty, but it beats a rotten old hammer any day of the week. Why did I help you? <laughs> I guess you don't get rewarded for all the good deeds. Sometimes you just do it to help. But Link's pretty accustomed to getting paid, so that was a little rough. Oh well. On our way. I won't even be around once everybody realizes. <laughs> well, that's a cool pond. What is this pond? I've never even been here. Is this... Huh. What is this pond? Is this a giant pond? It's nice. I don't know why it's here, but it's nice. Right. It's... Oh, there's some constructs up there. Won't worry about that. I want to make some real story progress now. And right as I say that, here's Addison. Alright. I'm going to get my horse out of the way before it gets scared of everything. Here we go. Oh. I saw a shooting star out there. It's pretty far out. Eh, it's not super duper far. I guess I could go get that. Might not make it in time. Pretty sure I won't make it in time, actually. I'm gonna just drop it. See. There you go. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> cool. Super easy. I'll take your money. Standing firm in place. Perfect. More money. I'll take some food. Alright, just random stuff. Thanks. Cool. Time to keep on going. Oh, there's even a tower up there. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll head that way. As my main goal. Wait, am I? Wow, that's a big tower thing right here. I don't even think I can get to that that fast. Big decisions here. Do I want to cross this bridge and go to that? Kind of. Alright, let's do it. Real quick. This is not going to be quick, I know that, but... It seems... Like, oh my gosh, is that a battle talus? Of course it is. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't even know if I want to go this way now. Ugh, let's do it. Let's run past it. Can I run past this? That's the greatest question right now. Can I run past a battle talus? 
Sure gonna try. Oh my gosh, I did it. Let's go. Keep going. Don't even look back. No point in looking back. Alright, now there is. <laughs> All I gotta do is run past it. I feel like there was an objective around here. Close. Okay, not that though. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a mission to get this one shooting star. That's all I want. And also just to kind of explore this area, which is pretty fun. It's very nice out here. I don't know where that shooting star went. Oh my gosh, it's right here. We're actually really close. And there's a stable out there. That's the one I wanted to go to originally. It's funny. This is actually fantastic. This works out really well. It's exactly where I wanted to go. I'm just zooming through this right now. Alright. Well, maybe I beat this guy up real quick. Save someone. Oh. Seriously, you want to talk now? Help me get through this and then we can chat. I, was, I wasn't really wanting to talk. Where are you going? I'll take the money. <laughs> Thanks for finishing him off. Whew, say, Thanks. Things were looking a little dicey, but you pulled me out of the fire. Maybe this home-cooked meal can convey my gratitude. It's not much, but I hope you'll enjoy it. Six hearts is pretty good. I like that. I'm here because I heard there are caves in this area. You too, I take it. No? <laughs> in any case, I'm happy to see you and ready to share some more cave info. Caves are tricky things. Sometimes passengers, passages or even the entrance can be completely blocked by rocks. If that happens, the only way through is through. <laughs> you just have to smash those pesky rocks. Regular swords and spears won't do you any good, though. You'll need a hammer-like implement with a blunt tip. So it never hurts to be prepared to smash some rocks before you enter a cave. <laughs> and hey, a blocked path isn't all bad. Sometimes you'll find ore in the rocks you've smashed. Oh. I hope our paths will cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. Alright, you too. Enjoy your time out here. It's an interesting place. Being off on your own. I will take another shooting star. Star fragment. Fantastic. Gladly. Also, uh, Lizalfos in its native habitat. Sitting in the water. Oh, Totally missed that. Why is my horse- why does my horse always end up on a rock? It always ends up somewhere sketchy that it shouldn't end up. And I don't like that. <laughs> okay. I'm going across this bridge and I'm going to that stable. Let's check it out. Tim's Bridge. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Those are harder to get in this game. How do I get a treasure chest that has fallen? Also, what mountain is that? Wow. Um, maybe I throw an ice fruit in? I guess that works. Five arrows. <laughs> okay. Cool. That's fine. I accept. Now I just want out of here. There's a cart. We got signs and people. 
Lots going on now. Of course, Hudson. Or, uh, Hyrule Ridge, Zoro's Domain, Akala. No, okay. Very fun. Um, I'm skipping that area for a while. Let's let's talk to Addison, I guess. Gosh. Is this where that was? This is where that was. I'm really close to that thing. Somebody wants that Hinox. Uh, okay. I'll help you out. What is this? You got it on a little sketchy little peg. Alright. We'll make it happen. I would, oh, there we go. I was like, where are the posts? I need a post. Okay. I'm just I'm just moving over materials for for the time being. Um I do need to figure out what I'm gonna do about this thing. Should I shove something through that? Seems kinda cool. Is that <laughs> is that something that could do something? Cool. Try letting go of that. See what happens. There you go. No, that didn't fall. <laughs> All right, I can make better. I'll do better for you. Sorry. That was a pretty trashy thing that I made. So was that. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna make a nice square peg. Go through there. Potentially. Oh, that's just hanging off the side. Interesting. <laughs> this is awful. Really, really bad. Okay. So it won't fall that way. I'm actually going to detach this one. Get this one going. Dang it. <laughs> this may be one of my worst builds yet. It's pretty ugly. sturdy that way and now I get one more <laughs> just wedge it in there all right is that good see what happens there you go what do you mean unforgivable was it because the bottom was swaying come on man what do you want out of me? I, I really don't like the ones that have the... Like... Choose a better base than that, Addison. You fool. <laughs> hey, Fay. Hit you in the noggin, you'll think straight. <laughs> okay. Awful build. I just need to build something good, right? That's a good plan. That's what I thought. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, jeez. I'm gonna get some more of these. Maybe I just jam this thing. I'll just jam it. Oh my gosh. Let's go jam it. It's gonna be a dumb build. Sad that that doesn't work. That should totally work. Okay, jammed in that direction. And I think I can just jam it this way. Super lame fashion. Oh, that's so lame. That was not even good. <laughs> Alright, there's no way that can fall, right? Addison, let go. Is that good? It, how in the world did that fall? <laughs> this is painful. I was like, what was that cutscene? Oh, that's... I don't need that one yet. I'll get there. Um, Addison, I'm getting real tired of this. Let's slide this back in. Nice and perfect and such. Okay. Guess I'll take this. Jam that right up in there. So it won't fall that way much. Okay. Let's leave that like that. This is the worst build in the world. So goofy. Okay. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is like the worst build I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> can that fall? Is there any way this fully framed in thing can fall? Is that good? You happy? There you go. Okay. <laughs> I guess if I have all the materials, I should just use them. Just feels so dumb. <laughs> Look at how dumb that was. <laughs> Alright, money. Money, food. Oh, heat resistance, because I'm in the area. They know I need it. Yep, you're off. Okay. So, heat resistance, because I'm going towards the volcano, and they know that I need the heat resistance. Actually, give me a second. What is that? Just sticks? Okay. In a, in a farming hill, of course. I'll take it. I could attach something to it right now. In fact, I will. Boom. <laughs> Let's go fight this Hinox. It's an objective. Or like one of those missions that I have. So I might as well. 
And there's a stable over here somewhere. Somewhere over here. Anyway, let's go do this. Just a standard guy. Not too big of a problem. Do I want any of this? Yeah, I want them. I want this thing. <laughs> Alright. Let's play. Cool. You don't even have any shields. You're gonna be quite simple, I think. Sweet, that was very easy. Uh, I'll, I'll poke him. Oh my gosh, you're fast. There you go. Whew, gotta get away from that. Alright. I think I'm gonna drop this and use this Whew. this guy is not difficult <laughs> he did get me that's hilarious I was trying to get him before he hit me but didn't happen Oh, updated. Let's check out this adventure log. Uh, Graylands of the Monster. Control crew at Lookout Landing told you about a Hinox. You defeated it around Trilby Plain Northeast of Hyrule. Field. Sure, so I need to go back to him at some point. I can do that. And I will. I will surely do that. Can't believe that thing got me. It really got me. I could die from a bee attack right now. Oh, this is an interesting area. It's like a new path. Uh, okay. There's my torch, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep what I have. I'm not stoked about this weapon, but... It's something. Hey, you're a you're a guy. Did you say I'm worried? Origa. <laughs> hey, I was just thinking it'd be nice to talk to someone. I'm glad you said something. Hey, are you visiting all the hot springs around Elden? I hope not, cause it's not a great time for that. Some strange rocks have shown up in Goron City, and ever since, all of my Goron buddies have been acting weird. Okay. I used to love the hot springs at the grub place just up the road to the northeast. The place is shaped like a rock roast. <laughs> Real nice place to relax, I tell you. Thing is, I don't want to get caught up in all that, so I'm trying to steer clear for now. Okay. I don't know what you're really talking about, but... Interesting. Okay. Let's... Oh my gosh. Is that the, uh... Kilton? Oh, I almost... There's a lot of stuff happening at this stable. Oh gosh. That's Kilton, right? Okay, I'm totally talking to that. Beetle. Uh, oh yeah, what have you got? You have... You have things I don't have, but I don't want to buy them from you. I'll find them. I'll forage. Is that a kid? Oh my gosh. Woodland Stable. We're here. Um, I talked to this kid last time. Shimmy. Oh, is this your first time here, mister? Welcome. This is the Woodland Stable. Hey, I gotta know. Are you looking for stuff that fell from the sky too? Fell from the sky? You don't know? Look up there. There's an island floating in the sky. You see it too, right? 
Sometimes when I'm looking at the sky, a big box falls down from that island. Ah, oh, there, look, look. Oh yeah, I've been there. I've seen these things fall. And that means the sky person's gotta be dropping them. I always knew there was a kingdom in the sky, and I've always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals. But I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. I want to hurry and be all grown up like you, mister. Then I can go up there. So this is incredibly interesting because this girl right here in Breath of the Wild talked about stuff being in the sky. Which was before Tears of the Kingdom was even thought up. So it's very interesting that she talked about that. And she's still here talking about it. Your wagon is perfect. Uh, Maypin, it's it's finally mine, the towing harness of my dreams. Took a while to save up enough pony points for it. So many wild so many wild horses registered, so many nights at stables. But it's all been worth it. Now that I've got this harness, I can tow to my heart's content. Hmm. Hey, you've been staring for a while. Something up? You wouldn't happen to be jealous of my towing harness, would you? I totally get it. I mean, if you had a harness of your own, your horse could pull a wagon or all kinds of other stuff. Doing business from a wagon's always been a dream of mine. Me being a merchant and all. Trade around, I trade around Akala to the northeast, so if you ever pass me on the road, definitely give me a shout. Okay. You got anything? I'm interested now. Let me, let me talk to everybody. This is, this is exciting. Hope they were right. Ash? Oh, do my eyes deceive me, or do you plan on setting out? I take it you're also headed to Goron City. True. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Uh... Strange... Also, there's a restaurant up this mountain path toward the city. I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. So just try to give a wide berth to any Gorons you might see with strange rocks. What are the strange rocks? The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking. But lately, it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether, and some are even playing tricks on travelers. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. I don't really know what that all means. But it's the duty of a stable to keep its guests safe, so I can't help but worry. Okay. Uh, Zora's Domain, Hyrule Ridge. And Akala. And, uh, oh! Goron City. This path is new. That's exciting. But there's a lot to do here. And Pen is here. Cool. There's so much to do here. Okay. So much going on. So many people. Uh, that attire. <laughs> Your clothes. No, but, uh, so coordinated. Fabulous. You're clearly well-versed in the ways of fashion. Hey! <laughs> Someone actually, like, commented on my clothing. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, sorry, my eye for fashion can't help but see what it sees. I'm forever tempted by the latest styles. The same is true for my boyfriend. Two of us were going to Goron City to buy their trendy, fire-resistant clothes. But when we were about to arrive, we got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back on my own. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. You and your boyfriend just ditched each other? <laughs> okay. Uh, I wish I had that balloon. <laughs> Molo, how's a guy supposed to pick a path to Death Mountain? Trek up a mountain should be a red-hot adventure. If I had a balloon like the one on the other side of the pond, that'd spice things up a bit. Fat chance of that, though. Red-hot. What's that? Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, red-hot is as red-hot does, my friend. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full-force, non-stop, red-hot lava. But now the lava's all cooled down and hardened. It's even, uh, I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. Oh, it, interesting. And ease, my friend, is the opposite of the Red Hot lifestyle. Now the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east on the other hand, that's an old, dangerous road absolutely crawling with monsters. That's what I call Red Hot. But uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that makes my decision more complicated. Okay. Good history. I'm intrigued by the mountain being different. I do like that. Okay, watch out, dog. Okay, good job. Good job not getting hit. Oh, there's a bloopy. Okay, I guess you can only get... Actually, I got quite a bit out of that. <laughs> that was pretty lucrative. 
I won't complain. I'm pretty happy with that. I should probably rest at that inn or the stable. But I'm so intrigued by this. This is this is Kilton, right? Yes. Hi Kilton. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me with that. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. This is one of my favorite characters of this entire game. Look at him. Look at how cool he is. How can you not appreciate that face? Look at him and his yellow tooth. Alright. Anyway. You're supposed to walk up on him like this. <laughs> you there, traveler. Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big brother! Wait, you have a brother, Kilton? Look at this guy! There was a second Kilton the whole time. They're little goblins. It's no you, Colton! <laughs> Colton. Kilton and Colton, wow. Excellent. Please, it's impossible. Absurd, even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like... <laughs> I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. Do n I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble jam, then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called the Brubble Frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Yeah, but I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall to run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. The hunt for bubble gems. Oh my gosh. Perfect. So I have views for bubble gems now. Um, Colton dreams of becoming a legendary creature known as a Satori. He says he needs a bubble gem in order to achieve this dream. Strange creatures known as bubble frogs can be found in caves all over the world and have been known to drop these items when weakened. Indeed. Alright, Kilton, you got more? <laughs> Traveler, if you don't mind, would you lend your ears to my little brother's plea? I fear Colton can't make his dream come true without some uh, assistance. If I'm going to make it my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Yeah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly mimbly and hard to catch. What's your dream? You want to hear about my dream? <laughs> well, it's simple. Really, I dream of becoming a story. You know, the creature of myth. Story are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. <laughs> and then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. <laughs> For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bobble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my hands on, get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that? So nimbly pimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. This guy's like Schmeagle. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Um, okay, see ya. <laughs> when oh, will I ever get the story? Okay, I will, I will give him what he wants. Honestly, maybe what he needs, I don't know. <laughs> Discovery. Pico Pond Cave. This is a very small cave. I like it. <gasps> oh my gosh, there was a lizard. I'm so sad that I missed that lizard. Okay, I was like, I'm certain I've taken a photo of a bubble frog. Got him. <laughs> very simple. Very, very simple. Um, I would like to break all these, and I will. Perfect. Oh, but I do want to take a photo of this guy real quick. That's a fairly good photo. Fireproof lizard. Haven't had one yet. And I will. <laughs> this rare lizard can only be found in the Elden region. 
Its scales have heat resistant properties, so when cooked with monster parts, it produces a fire resistant elixir. Sweet. Let's get some let's get some gems. Lots of rock salt. <laughs> That's okay. Two bubble gems, or two luminous stone is kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna go out this way, maybe, if I can. I just want to see where it takes me. And then I'll go down, talk to Colton. Like, am I at the top of the mountain? Was well, this dangerous? No, it's just a sign. Oh, Addison. Of course. I'll talk to Addison in a little bit. What was that? Oh my gosh, I almost got smashed by this. Uh okay, let's let's do this. Okay. What does this do for me? Isn't it too warm here? Oh, okay. Well, it takes me here. There's a treasure. There we go. I was like, why am I here? Large zone I charge. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's like a strange rock. <laughs> there's a shrine. Oh, there's a lot going on up here. Very, very cool view. There's a... There's a tower. Have I done this shrine? I've done that shrine, right? I didn't do this shrine. Dang. I'll leave it there. It's okay. Oh, great fairy. Excellent. Oh, and there's a tower. It's in the... It's... Oh. I thought this was... Oh, wow. That's in, uh, somewhere else. <laughs> that I'll go to in the future, I guess. Wow. This is a cool view. I like it. Let's go talk to Colton. Perfect. Hi, Colton. I have a bubble gem. I need a bubble gem to make my dream come true. But if I can't catch a bubble frog, what to do? What to do? Here, take this. <laughs> That's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it, now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much, please take this gifty in return. Hump <laughs> goblin mask, sweet. Maybe I should have read that, I'll read that in a sec. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was able to look just like a bokoblin. So much so that even a bokoblin would take you for one. Uh, by all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and the heart of a bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. You eat that? Ooh. Ah, my body. It isn't changing, but... But I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. Can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Kilton, big brother, I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. Hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you, thank you. Traveler, I'm grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty for my collect from my collection and tre of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. The hunt for bubble gems is complete. Interesting, interesting dude. <laughs> Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now I have to be on my way as well. 
I'll make I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my eyes wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. Alright, see you, Kilton. Everybody's gone. The search for Colton is a side adventure. Okay. Um, Colton has taken his stall and set out on a journey to find something called Bubble Gems. Travel around Hyrule and see if you can find him. His older brother, Kilton, has settled down in Terrytown and may have an idea where Colton is. And then there was... I did that. I did where are the wells. Where was... Oh, I just finished a side... Side quest, right? Somewhere. What did I just finish? I don't even know what I just did. Was it a side adventure? Hunt for bubble gems. There we go. You gave Colton a bubble gem and he gave you a reward as thanks. Colton has taken his stall and set on a journey to collect bubble gems in hopes of fulfilling his dream to become a story. What a guy. Okay. Let's put on this Bacoblin mask. Kilton's handmade Bacoblin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Equip it to blend in with Bacoblins. And you stand like them too. Which is just fantastic. Okay. Let's head back to the stable because there's a lot to do there. Is it smart to swim across this pond? Probably not. But that's okay. Oh, I'm totally gonna drown. <laughs> I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. I could totally drown in this. That would have been amazing. Okay. I'm changing back into this. The Pecanlon mask is fun, but not, not worth it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this on. It was almost my demise to keep this on at the other place. I'm going to have to go into that well soon, too. So, Woodland Stable. I will, um, get my horse. I think I'm going to put my horse into the stable. Still up and about after sundown, huh? Welcome. You found your way to Woodland Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Sweet. Hey, I have a reward board. Oh. oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger, then call me over. Now then, once again. Oh. Welcome, Link. Do you want to register? Um, board horse. Oh. Yeah, board White Sox. Mm. Alright. Thanks for taking White Sox. And now I'm going to get my reward. Oh. Your horse is in our care. Anything else? Um, nope. Mm. We're the closest stable to Goron City. Home to the Gorons, of course. Death Mound is done erupting, and the city and roads are in good condition. Though you'll still find hot lava inside the caves, so take care not to get burned. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. They're like lava tubes. A pony point ledges placed here. Receive reward. What do I get? You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? For 13 points, you get a traveler's saddle. Standard saddle designed for comfort during long journeys. It's durable material, holds strong in all sorts of weather, which has made it a favorite among travelers. Comes with the Traveler's Bridle, so here's that too. <laughs> Standard Bridle. The design doesn't really stand out, which is why it's well suited to any type of horse. A favorite among peddlers and travelers alike. If you save up just three more points, oh. you'll be able to use our special main restyling service. Oh, cool. We appreciate your patronage. Sweet. Um, there's a lot to do here, so... Let me collect some things and then let's say we continue from here I will continue next time from the woodland stable so yeah we'll just stand out front Link will be living with one heart and yeah that's it so thanks for watching this one and we'll do a lot more at the woodland stable coming up next thanks for watching see you then